Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our information session. My name is Elena. I'm a student recruitment associate at the McGill School of Continuing Studies, and I'll be presenting our 2022 winter short programs. So we'll start with a quick introduction of McGill University. So McGill was founded in 1821. We recently celebrated McGill's bicentennial, so its 200th anniversary of its founding. McGill has made the list of different world university ranking systems for higher education, and we've recently been placed 27th in the world, uh, according to QS, in 2022. We have a total of 12 Nobel Prizes, and these were prizes that were won in different fields, but mainly in chemistry, in physics, and in medicine. We have a total of 147 Rhodes Scholars. These are postgraduate awards that were given to students for their academic achievements, and they were given the opportunity to study at the University of Oxford for up to two years. At McGill University, we have welcomed over 40,000 students and close to 31% of those students were international students. McGill is a research intensive university and we have a yearly budget of $500 million. And we also have a very big impact on the Canadian economy, generating $5.2 billion every year. Our campus is also located in downtown Montreal and our city was voted the sixth best city in the world for students in 2022. So the School of Continuing Studies, this is where we are offering our winter short programs. It was founded in 1968 and we welcomed approximately 6,000 students in a wide range of programs. So we offer short-term credit-based programs in business and management. So we offer different certificates and diplomas at the undergraduate and graduate levels. We also offer language programs, so intensive language programs in English and in French for six weeks. And the main focus of today's presentation will be our non-credit short programs with transcript. So these programs are offered twice every year, once in the winter at the end of January and once in the summertime at the end of July. These programs are usually offered for three weeks if offered on site, and we offer them for four weeks if offered remotely. All of our courses are taught by active professionals in the field. So all of our instructors have over 15 years of experience and they work very hard to bring that expertise and their knowledge to the classrooms. At the School of Continuing Studies, all of our courses, whether they are credit or non-credit, they all undergo the same approval and quality control process as any other course that is offered across McGill. So I'll be showing you a few images now of our campus. So the first one that you can see on the top left, these are the Rhotic Gates. This is the main entrance to our downtown campus. And right behind the main entrance is the path that leads towards the Faculty of Arts. So the Faculty of Arts is the most photographed and the most recognized building that we have on campus. So this is the Faculty of Arts. At the top right here, we have another angle of our campus. In the background, you can see uh, one of our museums. So this is the Red Path Museum with the red banners. And finally, at the bottom right, we have uh, the famous McTavish Street. This is where you will find most of our offices for student services. So our 2022 winter short programs will be offered for four weeks remotely, starting on January 17 until February 11. So students will have the opportunity to register to either a program or to an individual course. We're offering a total of four programs and four individual courses. So for our programs, we are offering international organizations, introduction to big data, machine learning, and sustainable food systems. For individual courses, we are offering current trends in digital communication, Innovation and Creativity for Entrepreneurs, Introduction to Business Analytics and Data Modeling, and finally, Social Media Strategy and Community Management. 
Now, one thing here to note for our individual courses. So we have courses, the first one and the fourth one here. These two courses can be taken individually or as a bundle to complete the social media and digital communications in business program. So that is an option that is available for students. Now, a bit more details about our programs and courses. So our programs, as I mentioned, will be offered in a live remote teaching format. Our programs are for a total of 60 contact hours and our individual courses are half of a program. So for a total of 30 contact hours. All students will be receiving a record of study, which is also known as a transcript that includes your final grades. But students who successfully complete a short program will be receiving a certificate of completion from the McGill School of Continuing Studies. Now, the two main requirements to register to our winter session. The first one is your English proficiency. So students should have a level of English proficiency that is equivalent to the test scores that we have here on the screen. So you should aim to have a level of English proficiency um, uh, 79 on the TOEFL IBT, 6.0 on the IELTS, or 105 on the Duolingo test. So these are simply recommendations. They are not required. If you, they not have, if you do not have um, the same scores or same tests, it will not affect your registration to our winter session. Since our classes are only offered in English, we want to make sure that our students have a sufficient level of English before registering. So again, th this is a simple recommendation. If you have completed another test score and you believe that your English is sufficient enough, is strong enough to register, um, please go ahead. These are simply recommendations for your English. And finally, applicants should currently be enrolled or have completed a bachelor's degree in any discipline. So those are the two main requirements uh, to register to our winter session, but we do have specific requirements for our technical programs. So students who are interested to register to our introduction to big data short program, you should currently be enrolled or have completed a degree in engineering in science or in commerce in management information systems. It's also very important that you have a very strong understanding of statistical concepts and skills in programming in Linux, Java, and SQL. Now at the bottom of the screen here, we have uh, three recommended online courses that you can take before registering um, to the Introduction to Big Data short program to maybe review and assess your skills in programming. And finally, for the students who are interested to register to our Introduction to Machine Learning short program, you should currently be enrolled or have completed a degree in computer science, in engineering, in science, or in commerce in management information systems. It's also very important that you have an intermediate level of programming skills in Python. And at the bottom of the screen, we have um, provided two self-assessment online tests that you can take to review your skills and your knowledge of Python uh, before registering to the Introduction to Machine Learning short program. Now, in terms of the delivery mode, as I mentioned previously, all of our classes will be delivered in a live remote teaching format. So you'll be able to take your classes from home and they will be offered approximately from 6 p 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Montreal time. So it's very important to be mindful of this time uh, if you're interested to register. Our instructors will be teaching at this time in Montreal local time. All classes will be scheduled for three hours per session. The schedule is, the schedule is still uh, to be confirmed. Um, however, you will have two to three classes per week and three hours per session. Your classes will strongly focus on student engagement, so you will have many opportunities to uh, join teamwork um, and to join class discussions with your instructor and other classmates. Your instructors will also be there to guide you and offer you support during the four weeks. 
They will be offering office hours every week, so you can connect with them and ask any questions and get uh, more support if needed. Now for the fees, if you are interested to register to a program uh, during our winter 2022 session, you'll find the fees here in Canadian dollars and US dollars. Uh, the same here for our individual courses here. So the fees include your tuition fees, your registration fees, and they also include your record of study and the certificate of completion for students who successfully complete a short program. Now, an important date to remember, uh, the registration deadline for our winter 2022 session is November 15. Now, although you'll be taking your classes from home, uh, we will be organizing different social and cultural activities to give you the chance to discover our city. So we will be collaborating with a certified guide of Montreal to offer virtual tours of Montreal. These virtual tours will be offered through Zoom. So um, every week you will have two to three tours uh, to join. And on the screen here, we have included a list of different tourist attractions, uh, different sites, different neighborhoods in Montreal that you will be able to uh, discover um, while attending these virtual tours of Montreal. The precise schedule in the tours are still to be uh, confirmed. However, this is just to give you an idea of what you can expect uh, from these activities. Our team will also be keeping in touch with you throughout the four weeks. You will be receiving weekly newsletters from us uh, that include important reminders about your courses. Uh, you'll be receiving the weekly invitations to the Montreal virtual tours. So you'll be receiving the schedule and the Zoom links to join every week. You'll be receiving important updates about McGill University. So you'll always know what is happening on campus. You'll also be invited to different activities and workshops free of charge. Um, these workshops are usually focused on uh, career development. And finally, we will include in these new in weekly newsletters interesting facts about Montreal. So you'll always be, aware, be kept aware of what is happening on campus and around the city in Montreal. Now, finally, if you are interested and would like to learn more about our programs or if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at shortprograms.scs.mcgill.ca. Uh, it would be our pleasure to answer your questions. You can also take a few minutes here to complete our student interest form. You can quickly scan this QR code with your cell phone. And this leads to a very short uh, form that you can complete. So you can let us know a little bit about yourself, uh, what options, what courses you are interested in, what program you are interested in. Uh, give us some information about who you are, why, why McGill, what are your objectives. And this is a very good way for us to keep in touch. And it's a good way to uh, send you updates about our programs. So I would like to thank you all for taking the time to listen to our information session, and I hope to have the chance to welcome you virtually to McGill uh, next winter. Thank you.